All right, so I'm building the deck. I'm getting the measurements right now. I've got a piece of plywood over here on that trailer. And I'm gonna transfer the measurements, but the first time I did it, I did it all wrong. The measurements came out really screwed up. So basically what I did now, cause I don't know if the board's flush or where it is and it's crooked and angled, but I taped the board down and then I took measuring tape, put it on the end of the board, measured to here, wrote the measurement there. Okay, so it's 25 inches from here to here. And every 10 inches, I did the same thing. So I'd take measuring tape, measure it out to here, 23 and a half. And then I went all the way up the board. At some point I stopped, this is every 10 inches, then I started doing every seven inches. And then up here I did every five inches. Okay, so I took those measurements and then I basically just came around the other side and I took the measurements from this side of the board to here. And then, so I'll go lay the board, tape the board on the, on the plywood, and then um, basically just mark off my measurements. And I think that should work. And it's not gonna be perfect. I'm not a carpenter. I didn't go to school for architecture. My math skills are... All right, so I made my measurements. I think everything's gonna work. If you can see the black line here, and it runs up. I think it's gonna be fine. Black line right here, and it runs up. I think it's gonna be fine. Basically what I did was I transferred the measurements, start the tape measure here, run it out 25 inches, mark it. 25 and a quarter, and then mark it 25 and a half, and then mark it. Did the same thing, then I came over to this side, 25, you know, start my thing here, bring it down here, mark it 25 and a quarter. And I marked it, and I just connected the dots. So I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna blast this out with a saw, see if it fits. And I got to make some measurements. I got like support beams that come out like this. But once this is done, I'll get those measurements. <coughs> so the boat's all decked out. Almost two thirds of the boat. There's a deck on. They're pretty sweet. I like got up and jumped around on it. Everything was stable. I'm gonna put a door here, a door here, open it up, store all my um, tackle underneath here, and put the battery up here. Um, basically, it's just plywood, I showed you before. My measurements were off. I was actually over an inch somehow. I don't know how that happened, but it's better to be over. I'm gonna just shave some of it off. But we basically use this uh, I don't even know what kind of saw this is. It's like a jigsaw. Yeah, it's basically a jigsaw. An electric jigsaw. And we're just, you know go down the sides and trim off the wood. So that's pretty awesome. Do that by yourself, you really don't need anybody. Uh, uh, now I gotta, I still have to paint the interior of the boat and now I got all these wood chips over I'm gonna have to vacuum it out again, or whatever. Went through, cut the holes for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it about right here. Put hinges on it. Well, I'm actually gonna carpet the whole thing. I'm gonna use blue carpet, but I'm gonna cut it right here. Put a handle right here so I can open it. And then I'll keep my uh, anchor down here. 
Because not all of us can have $2,000 power poles. It's pretty sweet. So uh, I think this is going to work out great. The question is whether the door, there's a seat that runs out to about here. And I'll start the door here. And it'll open up this way. And it'll rest on this seat here. And then it'll be exposed right here. But I don't know. I was up jumping around on this thing. It's an inch thick. I was up jumping around on it. And it seemed to really durable. But the question is, will I have enough integrity to support at least one person, sometimes two? And what we might just have to do is just really, really careful where we stand, try to only stand here on the seats. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks. I hope this helps you guys if you're planning on doing this your own. I basically could have done. My father helped me with this, but if you have those that jigsaw and plywood, you could do it yourself. Uh, plywood actually might be the best bet, although it's like real brittle and splinters easily. It's like super durable. This is like pressure treated and weather treated. Um, just make sure you get a real thick piece. All right, thanks. What's up? All right, I'm, I'm actually, I put the measurements on the deck and I'm drilling it out, drilling out the doors now. So initially what I was going to do, here are the seats right here. All right, going that way. We're basically, these are in the middle of the seats. On each side, this is the front. Initially I was going to have a hollow, I was going to hollow out a, a door, put the hinges on, so it could open this way. And I was going to do the same for that, but then I thought, you know, I don't want to do that because it's a pain in the butt. It's just easier. If I just make the door, here's the front, that opens all the way. And then it rests on both seats for support. So basically I just drew my lines. I'm using a jigsaw, so I drilled a hole here, here, and here. So I could get the jigsaw through and make my lines. Okay, so I made my cutouts on the deck. As you can see, front of the boat. Okay, that's the front that goes towards the back. This door is going to open that way and then that door is going to open this way towards the front. So it was pretty easy. I just used a jigsaw basically. I had to use a drill. I drilled in four little circles right here so that I could fit the jigsaw down and then I went across pretty simple. I'm hoping that it doesn't compromise the integrity of the wood. We'll see what happens. But this beam, this even though it's thin, it's sitting on the seat of the boat. So it's not taking, I'm hoping it doesn't take too much pressure. All right, so putting the carpet on. And basically, I've got this adhesive. It kind of sucks. But I'm, you know, basically, I start from the top of this side and I work my way down here and I spray the adhesive and then staple it into the sides and just go, you know, like two feet at a time. Like I do this section right here, you know, from here to here. Spray the adhesive, put it down, and like every, every three or four inches, put a staple in. And I learned the smart way by the end, by the time I was all the way down there. I learned that if you go like this, it just barely fits, but if you shoot it like that, uh, you get a better shot. All right, so I'm just putting the carpet on. Got most of it done. Uh, if you were to flip this over, um, start off, we'll start off by stapling right here. Make sure when you do the top layer, you don't want any runs in the carpet. So if you do it wrong, just pull them out and start over again. I have the adhesive over there, that spray paint can. It's not the greatest thing. You gotta use, a, one is you have to use a lot if you want a permanent bond, but I only have one can. So what it does is it just tacks the carpet down and holds it in place. Um, there's gonna be over 100 staples 
easily. There's probably gonna be like 150, 200 staples holding it down. Um, so I'm not worried. But on the top, you wanna make sure there are no runs. I did a good job. I only have like, I think there's like a small run somewhere. Um, but then when you flip it over, I don't care about runs. Like right here, it was running. And so I just would cut it right here, staple, staple this part down, bring this over and staple it down and it gets rid of the run. I don't really care what happens underneath there. But this rug was, I got an eight by 12 for, um, it was 40 cents a square foot. So I think it was like, I don't know. I think it was like 36 bucks, something like that. Somewhere around $40. Uh, so that's that. Um, I'm almost done here and I got these doors. I got to do these doors separately and see if they, I'm going to put this in the boat once this is done. Once I'm done staple this, I'll turn it over. I'll put it on the boat. I'll see if my doors fit and if I have to shave any off my door. Um, that's it. So I'm stapling, I'm stapling on the last piece of carpet here to the deck. Uh, you want longer staples to get through think you want like I don't know what size but they staples come in different sizes and uh, you want the longer ones because a lot of times you have to go double carpet here and you need a lot of staples because they're not that snug you can just rip them out pretty easily in the plywood um, <clears throat> you gotta come up with some funky cuts sometimes. Like I have no idea how I'm gonna cut this right here. And it's not level anyways, so it's like I get runs and stuff, but I would say the more staples you can put in the better. Alright, so there's the deck almost done. Um Really all I have to do is put hinges on. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, you know, two for this door, one here, one here, wherever. Oops, excuse me. I'm gonna put hinges on the door. Two, two for this door, two for this door. And then I'll put this, a hinge right here. And I gotta figure out what to do here. This is really the only measurement that really came out awful. This giant gap here, this giant gap, and then this is just pressed right up against the, oh, can't see, right up against the corner. So I don't know, I might, I might not even put the hinge on this one and figure out what I'm going to do. I might just square it off because I mean, if it's squared off to here, all I want is just quick access to a my um, anchor. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure it out. Uh, I gotta bolt these wood, this wood down, and this wood down right here. I'll just leave it just like that. I'll just yeah, two bolts right here and right here just for extra support, make it more stable because it's about four inches off the off the seat there. You can see the gap. So as far as the carpeting goes, the main frame actually came out, I thought, really well. It's really not running anywhere on the main frame. That carpet is nice and tight. I mean, it's, this is, there's nothing, there's no wood right here. So there's a little bit of run right here, but I wanted a little give. I didn't really want to have to cut that. But the doors are where we see a little running. There's a little running up here. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but right here. And then up here, there's some run. But not bad, especially right here. But not bad, really. Can't complain for not knowing what I'm doing at all. You know, it's not like there's instructions on how, how to build a deck without spending $600 and 
putting 100 pounds, 150 pounds of wood in your boat and to build a frame and all that. So, all right, I gotta put the hinges on and then I'm basically done. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this top one. Uh, oh yeah, but uh, i give you a little pricing. I don't know how much the plywood would be. I think the plywood was eight feet by five. Eight feet by five feet, eight feet tall, five feet wide, I think, somewhere around there. I don't know, I don't know how much that would set you back, but you need the plywood. The rug was $40. It was uh, eight by 12, which is a oh, hundred, I think, square feet, right? Eight times 10 is 80, 88. No, 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 it's 90, 96. So it's 96 square feet times 40 cents is somewhere around between 36 to 40 dollars, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, for the carpet, you need staples. I would get, I don't know if I kind of, the adhesive, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad that it didn't really hold that well. I don't know, I'm trying to think like if it held well and then I tried to put the staples in, would that create more running? Whereas it didn't hold that well, just sort of kept the carpet in place, but I could manipulate the running of the carpet pretty well. So I'm not sure, I don't know. You might want to look into that. But that adhesive was 10 bucks and it was just barely enough. Um, you also might want to consider silicone. Just get a couple tubes of uh, silicone glue for wood and carpet. Um, my concern with the silicone was it's such a light carpet that you could, if I like, you know, if I sprayed out silicone like that, like this, you you could see it. it and I didn't want that. So that's why I didn't get the silicone, but I don't know. Maybe test it out. I, I'm not sure. I don't know what to tell you. So there's this the adhesive, the carpet, the plywood, staples, you know, jigsaw. And I think that was it. So it was like 40, 50, it's like six bucks for the staples. So 56. This was under $60 to make. So it's not bad. And I painted it for under 100. So we're looking at right around 150 for a really good, I don't know, I guess you'd say not really a restoration, maybe a modification. I don't know. All right, I gotta put the hinges on. All right, so I put the hinges on. Door number one. And it works just fine. Opens all the way. It's pretty sturdy. I'm gonna store all my tackle in here. Probably some other stuff too, clothes, I don't know anything. Figure it out. It's nice and sturdy. You can the rug runs a little, but it's not a big deal. I got up and walked around on it, no bend. I'm fine. I feel completely comfortable right there. This door, however, did not hold on. So I got a two by four down here. And so when I stood on it, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of bend. And the, the issue is, is that this, my trolling motor is gonna be right here. I'm gonna do primarily most of my standing right here. So I put a brace on. I'm gonna put a brace on. I got the C-clamp, the C-clamped up. I'm gonna try and drill from underneath. So this is awesome. I'm just about done. Put in my last hinge and I can't get it open. <laughs> I thought it was good. It won't open. And now I can't get this door open. It just folds down and then I open up the door. Ugh, oh, wow. And I had that hinge centered perfect. Oh, almost perfectly. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
just I gotta get it awesome. I, I'll just unscrew it, I guess. I don't know, I don't wanna unscrew it. But I'll just take it off and shave off. Uh, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. I mean really it's like yeah, like a half inch. God. Four days of sleep on this Thursday, Friday, most of Saturday. All day today. God. It's like midnight. I've been working on it since I think like 10. God. All right. Okay, deck's on. I was pretty happy overall with the way it came out. Good walk walkthrough. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Um. A little running, not on the main deck, like here you can see the main frame, but on the doors is where it runs. Not really right here, but right here, it, it's loose, the carpet's up and loose. It's up and loose again right here, it sits down right here, but then up again right here, and I, I'm wondering if it's because it's just the hinges, I don't know. If it's a problem, we'll see how the season plays out. But if it's a problem, I'll uh, I'll take the hinges off and then get some heavy duty super glue and just glue glue the, uh, the carpet down. I don't think it'll be a problem, but we'll see. Um, and the hinges, I didn't talk about them last time, but these are two and a half inches. I think they're like four bucks and you get two of them and they're stainless so they don't rust okay I'll open it up for you see so this and this is where I'm gonna store all my tackle and then up here we have it's gonna be quick access to my anchor so drop anchor quick and tie it off right here I'm stoked about but then it opens up and I have my battery and I'll store other stuff in here I had to put a brace on because it was it wouldn't support me all the way sort of flimsy and on this side I actually went up from underneath which is awesome I don't think but this side it fell it broke so I just went through the through the deck uh, top side but I didn't really want to do that so when I get home I'll get a buddy and I'll take this whole thing out I'll flip it around and I'll I'll screw it down and I'll I'll reinforce it like with six screws it should be enough I could always get another two by four if it's not what I need to do not for this door but oh, I might do it for this door is staple rope rope on it that way if I'm down here I can just if I got a rope hanging out I can just pull it open but definitely for so it's a little tight but I like it tight because I'm not I don't plan on taking this off when I travel so I want to tie I'll bungee it down when I travel but I'm definitely going to staple some rope I'll staple some rope right up here and make sure it's about this about this long that way if I'm out here I can just pull it open or pull it closed. All right, so in a minute here, I'll climb up here and I'll stand on it for you. So now I'll stand on it and show you. Oop, just hit my head on the garage door. But back here, I got all kinds of support. I'm not worried at all. I'm really just not worried at all that's a little flimsy but yeah I'm not worried actually yeah now that I never stepped on this side but my weight's usually gonna be I'm usually not gonna have all my weight right here most of my weight's gonna be right here so that's something to think about maybe I should reinforce this somehow as we move up 
Uh, you can also be cautious to, to just when you're back here. Right now I'm over the seat. I'm just trying to be over the seat. And then up here, it's fine. Yeah. It's wobbly because it's on the trail over in the water. I think it'll be fine. I'll have my trolling motor right here. And then over on the side, but again, I'm not going to be standing on this side when I'm that close to the water. Same on this side. I'm not going to put my foliate right there. I'll just have to be cautious of that, but... So there you have it. So, the whole point of this video was to just show you guys non-expensive, relatively quick way to make a deck. And I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I'll run down the materials real quick. I had a, I had a, the rug was around $40. I, my father had the plywood. I'd say the plywood was like eight by five. So there's something similar around there. I don't know how much it was run for. It was pressure treated and weather treated. And it was three, three fourths inch thick. Uh, that that might be pretty pricey. I don't know how much those, those go for. So you got the deck. I mean the rug. You got the plywood, and you got. Let's see. You got the hinges. Were four dollars each, I think, and I bought three packs. This was twelve bucks. The Upholstery glue was ten dollars and staples for the staple gun. And that was it. I don't know, so it's forty for the rug, ten for the glue, let's say twelve. So it's sixty two dollars for the hinges, another six dollars for the staples. What is that, fifty eight? Right? And then the plywood. I don't know how much that runs for, so what did I say? What was it? 52? 50? 50? 40? 40? 50? 62? The staples were like staples were like 6 bucks, so 68. So 68 plus the, the, rug, the plywood. Probably somewhere around 110, 120 dollars total. It would be my guess. I don't know how much plywood goes for. Took me, took me a whole day. Took me 12 hours to do the deck with no instructions. I had no idea what I was doing. So I hope that helps. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting on the, getting on the water, and uh, I'll I'll edit in any details to this video if something doesn't go wrong. If something goes wrong in the water. And one last thing I wanted to show you. I didn't show you this. I got these Velcro straps for my poles. For my poles will lay this way. And I'll just strap them in. I'm pretty stoked about that. All right, well, hope that helped. And uh, I'll see you later.